Hello again and welcome back to Programming and Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop and we're going to be continuing and f wrapping up the Select Queries section of the, uh, of the tutorials here. So I'm going to back out here back into our Access database and we're going to be looking back at the Query Customer Addresses query that we've been building. And again, if I quickly run this real quick, you'll see that we've got those three uh, customers with the different address information. I went ahead and added a hyphenated corp to the customers table, but I did not yet give them an address, and that's why we see there's no address right now in the query for hyphenated corp. So, what I want to do is I want to get the information about what type of address this is, because if you recall, we did have, we did build this address types table to tell us what kind of address this is. Is it an office address? Is it a ship to? Or is it a bill to? So let's say I want in my query for me to, I want to see, is this a ship to an office address or a bill to? So I'm going to go back into the designer and I'm going to go ahead and add the table address types and notice that Access already understood the relationship between table 1 addresses and address types. Alright, you can see this is already set up. Now, this came from the relationships, uh, you know, this this designer window that we had before where we were setting up the relationship, you can see here's that relationship that we set up. Now if I go ahead and run this, You'll notice that we get an error. It says the SQL statement could not be executed because it contains ambiguous outer joins. To force one of the joins to be performed first, create a separate query that performs the first join and then include that query in your SQL statement. All right, so essentially what's going on here is there's two different relationships to the table one addresses table and access is getting confused because you're at one time saying, okay, give me all of the address types and table one addresses where these two tables are the same. Okay, or where there, there's, excuse me, there's data here in the address type ID that matches the ID field in the address types, okay? But you're also saying, give me all the customers. And then wherever you have a table one addresses that matches with the customer, go ahead and give me the address as well. So. Access is con getting confused. Which is it? Do you want all the addresses that match with address types? Or do you want all the addresses that match with customers? Or only the addresses that match with customers? That gets really, really confusing to Access. Doesn't really understand how to handle that. But we can solve this problem. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to just show you that I could simply just double click this and say only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal. And by doing that, I'm basically allowing Access to understand this relationship between all three of them. When I click on View, you'll see I get all three of these. And if I go ahead and add the address type to our query and view it again, you'll see address type comes up with Office. But there's also, a, a, this has brought up a new problem because I don't just want that. I also want to see that new hyphenated corp company that I designed. Because you'll notice, again, I added, as one of our customers, hyphenated corp, and it's not showing up in our query. So that's because of that relationship that I just altered in this query. And I just want you to know that uh, if I open up the relationships here, you can see the relationships between Table 1 customers and Table 1 addresses is still the same. It's still this table one customers, everything from table one customers, and only the ones from table one addresses where customer ID matches ID. I've changed that relationship here in the query, but it doesn't change the default relationship that we set up back here in the designer. I just want you to know that. The, whatever you set up in the designer will just be the default and you can change it from query to query. That's not going to be a problem. Alright, so I'm going to double click on this, change this relationship back to what it was, and I'm going to go ahead and take out the table 2 address types because that was causing a problem. Just want to verify, we see, yep, there's hyphenated corp back in here with no address. Go back into the designer here. I'm going to save this now. It says I've made some changes. Yes, I want to go ahead and save those changes. 
All right, so how do we get the address type in here? Well, this is where subqueries come into play, and you may have recognized in that, uh, in that error message that it was telling us you need to make a subquery in order to evaluate something first, and then you can do whatever you want to off of that. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go to Create, Query Design, and I'm going to start up a new query. And you'll notice that if I click on the Queries tab here, the query we've been working on, Query Customer Addresses, now shows up as an option of something that we can select from. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add, close that window down, and you'll see there is all of the lines that we've selected from the Query Customer Addresses now shows up as something we can select in this new query. So I'm going to go ahead and add now the table of the address types because I want this query now to give me the customer addresses and the address type along with it. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and then I'm going to drag and drop them into our columns here and then I'm going to double click on address type and that adds it to the list and wait a minute there's a problem here isn't there? There's no relationship between these two tables. There's no line going between them. If you haven't already noticed, there's something missing from the query customer addresses, and that's some sort of foreign key. We have to be able to tie this query into this table somehow, because here's the primary key for table two address types, but there's no foreign key in this query. Now, if you remember, what we did is that we tied in back here our table one addresses has this address type underscore ID and that's what ties in with the address types so in order to make that available all we have to do is we can just double click on the address type ID add it to the original query the queries customer addresses I'm gonna save that I'm gonna go back into our new query you'll notice that that addition doesn't yet show up so I'm gonna have to delete this table or excuse me, I'm going to have to delete the table from our query. Then I'm going to go in here, show table again, select our query, add it again, and now we have address type ID is available to us because we have it selected in our query customer addresses. Now I can go ahead and set up that relationship between address type underscore ID and the ID from table two address types. And I can also go ahead and select those fields that I want, drag them and drop them, and there we go. Now if I click on view, we've got the address type is listed. We can see this is the office address for these three customers. But that's not really what we wanted either, was it? Because remember, back in the query customer addresses, we have hyphenated corp with no address. And the whole goal of this new query was to go ahead and show all of the addresses, even if we didn't have an address type. So that goes back into this relationship that we've set up between ID and address type. Again, we're saying wherever there is an address type ID equal to something in table two address types ID. And right now, since the hyphenated corp customer doesn't even have an address, you'll notice address type ID has nothing in it. So there's nothing for it to tie into table two address types. So we have to change this relationship. And the one that we need to, to select here is that we want to include all the records from query customer addresses and only those records from table two address types where the join fields are equal. That's because we want all of the customer addresses coming from the query customer addresses. I'm going to click OK changes the relationship and you can see again now we've got the arrow pointing to the ID and I just want to make sure all my fields are here they are I'm gonna go ahead and click view and lo and behold there's hyphenated corp with no address but everybody else has the address type listed along with their address just how we want that information to be displayed now I'm gonna go over one quick little thing here you may have noticed that there's an asterisk here at the top of these tables and just to show you what this does, essentially it's a quick hand way of adding all of these fields from that table or query in one go without having to add each one of them as a new column. 
So I'm going to delete those. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the star here on the asterisk and you'll see it only adds just one column here. And if I click on view, we still get basically the same results, right? In just a little different order here because of how I have them dropped in there. But you can see everything that we had before is in here, but now it also includes the address type ID. You can certainly do this in order to get the information you want, uh, but it's not necessarily what we recommend to do because number one, this can actually slow down the data retrieval and how fast your database retrieves information. And second of all, it can get a little confusing when you start having one subquery on top of another subquery. And, and just so you know, query customer addresses is now considered a subquery to our main query. So just so you understand how that relationship works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back in here, just select the columns that I want. If my computer can run fast enough, there we go. Okay, drag and drop those back in. We've got our view. There's everything we need. Let's go ahead and save this query now. And I'm going to name it Query Customer Addresses with Type. Oh boy, that's getting a little long, huh? That would be kind of a tough one to, to memorize, wouldn't it? So let's do this instead. And you'll see this is very common. I'm going to take off a bunch of this. We know what CUST stands for. We know what ADDR stands for with type. There we go. So query customer addresses with type. That should probably do it. All right, so that's how you develop a sub that's how you develop a subquery here. Remember query customer addresses is our subquery and we've built a, a main query from you know, we're, we're using that subquery to help build our main query that's actually going to display the data. I hope that's been informative to you. I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an, an email on, on uh, YouTube. And uh, up next, we're going to start going into the insert queries.